It's time for bathing suit aqua. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Sorry. Wrong aqua again. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphaelis, and today we'll be looking at the Figma Aqua Swimsuit version from Konosuba. This is a limited edition release. Whenever you see anything that has the EX on a Figma, that means you can only get it at certain places like conventions and stuff like that. You can probably find this on eBay for about $100 to $150, which is really expensive because of her limited release. We're going to open her up. We're going to see how she is in terms of paint detail, articulation scale, and accessory. And, and if you're wondering, why did I buy this? Because on Twitch right now, it's all about that hot tub stream. <laughs> and I have a hot tub stream with all my favorite anime Figma girls. And if you're asking, Dexter, you are an anime sim then yes, I am an anime sim. So we're gonna open this up, we're gonna see how she is, enough of me talking. Let us open this up here in the top cam as the hot tub music is playing in the background. By the way, if you'd like to join us on a Twitch stream, just go to twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. We do unboxings there, we do customs and all kinds of stuff. We're gonna open her up right now. Again, limited release, can't wait to see how she is. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Now let's go to the front cam and let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's take off all the plastic stuff, because the plastic stuff is there to protect the joints. Ooh, she's looking really good. I was kind of hoping for a darkness swimsuit. Maybe we'll get one later. Uh, but first, let's go to Aqua. And now, Let's see if we can focus up here and let's zoom into that face. Is this anime accurate? And I have to say, yes, it is. Definitely it is anime accurate. Look at those beautiful, bright blue eyes looking really good. The skin tone is matte finished as well. Speaking of matte finish, look at this beautiful light blue matte finish hair looking really solid with the hair piece right here looking really gloss to contrast with the matteness of her hair and skin tone looking really solid. Now, let's look at the rest of the body without getting too pervy here. Her bikini is looking really, really good as well. It's well painted. Looks like they didn't have any mishaps. It must be really tough to get in between the lines and stuff like that to make sure that it doesn't splatter onto her skin tone and the skin tone looking really good as well. The skirt right here looking solid. No paint mishaps. And we're only going to look at that for one second because we are a family-friendly channel. But maybe she's not so family-friendly. Well, anyway... Here we go, let's look at the shoes right there, and that's looking really solid. So, when it comes to painting detail of this figure, right off the bat, there is nothing wrong. This is everything I expect from a solid quality control from Figma, and she looks really good. <laughs> There's nothing else really to say. She's actually really nice. Let's see if she can stand up. Let's do a quick joint check, making sure nothing is too loose and everything is pretty tight, I have to say. Nothing too loose here. So quality control is indeed there, and she's looking really solid. Now let's move on to articulation and scale. First things first, we've got to take out the ruler and see how tall she's standing. She is standing at five and a quarter inches tall, and we've got to compare her with other action figures. Let's move all this stuff out of the way first. And of course, because this is Aqua, we got to see how she is with um, <clears throat> Bring Arts Aqua. <laughs> so pretty meta right here. we got two Aquas in the house. This is uh, Bring Arts Aqua from King of Hearts 3, and this is Aqua from Kanasuba. As you can see, they kind of scale well together. Maybe if uh, King of Hearts 3 Aqua was a little bit shorter, maybe if she was a little bit taller from Kanasuba, maybe, maybe, maybe it would have worked. But I think uh, figure, Bring Arts Aqua is a little bit too tall, so therefore not so much in terms of scale. And speaking of more scale, we have an SH figure at Sakura. So these two should be around the same height. As you can see, SH Figure Arts is even scaled bigger. But when you compare her to my custom Figma Bakugo, these two scale really well together, as you can see. So Figmas usually just scale well with each other. And of course, her hot tub friend, the swimsuit Emily. And again, these two work really, really well together, I have to say. Uh, one more. One. Let's do one more. Well, actually, let's do two more. Here's another one. Little Armory. That's Mio. And last but not least, Marvel Legends, Spider-Man. 
Definitely does not scale with Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Let's talk about articulation now. Pretty standard stuff for most um, Figma. We have an up and down here at the... Oof, that's really tight right here. So our ankle joint's really tight. We have a bend at the knee right there. We have ball joint right here at the crotch. We're not going to look too much there. We have a single joint right here at the bottom of the upper part of her midsection. Not so much anything in the middle right here just to keep that aesthetic of the bikini. And yeah, so we don't get anything more uh, than that. So moving on, we have shoulder articulation right here, which is really good. We have a bend at the elbow. We have a peg ball joint right there at the wrist and one single one here at the neck. Is there anything else that moves? Oh yeah, the hair moves, that's for sure. But it's also really tight, but it does move just a little bit. So that's about it when it comes to articulation. We're looking at under 20 points of articulation. So usually, I guess we can still do stuff. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it anyway. I wanted to do just cutesy poses, but we got to do the usual action poses here when we're dealing with action figures like this. We got a front kick right there. We have a side kick right there. We got flying knees. We got shore yukins going on. Boom, we got to reach out or at least hit the volleyball. Pow, right there. And... Superhero landing, not so much. And the reason for this is because we are missing that joint right here in the midsection. Let, let me double check this. She has to No, that's really there to keep with the aesthetic. So if you're looking to pose her um, in action poses, not so much. I think this figure was really made just to be stuff like this. All right, looking really cute. You take out your hot tub for your hot tub stream and you put her in the hot tub. And there she is, right? This is really what you're, all you're pretty much going to do is keep her in the cutesy poses and stuff like that. Where she's just chilling by the pool. Heck, even chilling by the pool is tough because without that, um, what do you call it? Without that articulation point right here, it's hard for her to sit on the hot tub. So maybe we can put her like this, sitting on the hot tub, if she isn't too top heavy. So... Let's see. All right, everyone, please stand by. So there you go. So let's move the camera over. Let me show you what I mean here. So you can have her sit on the hot tub and stuff like that. But in the hot tub, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time because of the fact that, again, we are missing that, that missing joint right there, which is usually in most Figmas. So you can do ab crunches. As you can see in Mio here, you can do that pretty easily. So that is missing. And also, even in Emily, I think we we have that. See, yeah, see. So even in Emily, we have a more movable midsection here because she, she actually she's missing that joint too. Emily is missing this joint as well. Let me see if we focus up so I can show you what I'm talking about. She's missing this middle joint as well, but because she doesn't have the skirt in the way, she can do ab crunches much better. Whereas Aqua, that skirt's in the way, so therefore not so easy. So let's move on to accessories. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's go to the top cam. So this is really the fun part. I love this. So we get a squirt gun, which is really cute. Uh, we get an effect piece, which is always awesome. We get a light blue colored stand, which is great. We get, of course, her staff. We get all kinds of faces. We got her pouty face and her yelling face right there, which looks really, really cute. So let's move on to the staff first. Let's get this out of the way. There's the staff right here on the top cam. Let's look at the front cam here so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And let's see if we can focus up. And there you have it. This is the staff, which is looking really, really good. I believe it comes apart. No, Yeah, there you go. So the bottom part does come off, so you can slide it into her hand, which she does have extra hands, which we will see in just a bit. And there you go. You can just put that back together. Looking really good. Looks like we have a gloss finish on there with a matte finish at the tip right there, which is looking really, really good. So let's look at other things. Let's look at the yelling face right here. And that yelling face looks really awesome. And we're going to do a face swap right now. So let's take this off. Let's put that on. And there she is. <laughs> oh, so comical. I love this face. That's just, that's great. That's great. So, that's really cool. Now we're going to do another one. 
So this one should be the pouty face, which is also really cute. Really like that one. And so then, there it is. Pouty face right there. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. Let's see the other accessories that we get with this figure. Okay, moving all the tape. Um, so let's cut for a bit and let's set her up so I can show you what I mean. All right, and we're back and she's fully outfitted here and that looks absolutely adorable with the staff and whatnot. So there she is with the staff. And of course, let's look at the water gun. This is the last thing we're gonna look at here. And that looks really cool with the effect piece of the water effect piece, which is really nice and transparent light blue, which looks really cool. I lied, last thing we're gonna look at is this light blue stand right here that you can outfit. Oh yeah, she comes with two, I forgot. She comes with uh, two effect pieces for the water gun. I think one is even for the staff. Uh, no, it's not for the staff. Actually, I don't, I don't know. Hold on one second. Let me see. Okay, so you do get two, but one is not for the staff as I thought. So let's come up with a conclusion of the Figma Aqua Swimsuit Edition. So let's look at this here. Looking absolutely cute. You know what? Let's sit her in the hot tub. This is really what we have her for. She's sitting there in the hot tub. Uh, let's see if we can have her sit. There, there we have it. There she is. Uh, maybe a little bit. There you go. So, let's come up with a negative. Let's come up with a conclusion right now. Let's start with the negatives. What's the biggest negative of this figure? Um, it's not the joint, even though this is a slight issue for me. The biggest negative is this is not a regular release figure. Therefore, the price of her is going to only increase over time. So right now, Get her while you can, and if you miss out, she's only going to get more and more valuable. Maybe she'll get re-released when a convention comes around, Anime Expo is around the corner. Oh, well, actually, I take that back. No, it's not around the corner because we're still in COVID, and therefore, who knows when the next time you can pick her up. So that's the biggest negative is the cost, and a little bit negative is the midsection, but mostly the positive is this is so cute. Come on, guys. Come on. Look at her. She is absolutely adorable in that outfit. The paint detail is really cool. Love this squirt gun. Love the hair. Love the everything that you get with her. She is, she's a keeper, man. I just love the way she looks. Anyway, guys, I think that's it. If you're a fan of Konosuba, go ahead and buy it. Who am I to tell you what to do? This is an excellent figure. Definitely add it to your collection if you are collecting Konosuba figures. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, if you're looking for awesome, authentic action figures, you can go to www.com and the source for awesome action figures. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.
you. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.